Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 11 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on network cards. Let's get going. All right, so here's what we're gonna do in this video. We are gonna go over the different types of network cards, which really there's just two different types. There's PCIe, which you see in front of me, and there's OCP3, which means yes, there's two OCP3 slots in your DL380 Gen 11 server, one for the RAID and one for the network card. And you, yes, can use an OC3P network card. And if you wanna shove in a couple of PCIe network cards, you can do that as well. So you can have multiple network cards. So I did wanna point that out. Next, we're gonna go over the different interfaces the max speeds. We're gonna show you how to install the PCIe card. And then at the end, we're gonna put up a compatibility list of the compatible uh, network cards according to HP. And I'm sure there's some other ones out there as well. So if there's something that you don't see on our list that you do like, hey, drop a comment down below for the rest of the users because I'm sure they'll like to see that. Let's hop in. All right, so what are the different types of compatible interfaces for your network cards? You have RJ45, SFP+, SFP28, QSFP56, NVMe OF, OSFP, and Fiber Channel. And Fiber Channel is not actually listed on HPE's spec sheet, but we did do some research and play around with it, and you can use Fiber Channel. So what are the different speeds that your HPE ProLiant Gen 11 server accepts? You can use one gigabit, 10 gigabit, 25 gigabit, 100 gigabit, 200 gigabit, and for Fiber Channel, you can use 32 and 64. Do note that if you are using the 100 gigabit QSFP56 or the 200 gigabit, you're gonna require high performance fan kits and you do need the 16 lane upgrade kit that is gonna be needed for the OCP 100 gigabit NICs. So those are a few things to note. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to point out again was that the fiber channel cards are not technically uh, shown as supported by HPE spec sheet, but they are going to work. One other note too is that a uh, 24 bay small form factor or 12 bay large form factor chassis do not support the 100 gigabit or 200 gigabit cards. They just aren't supported. So just know if you are using the 24 bay small form factor or the 12 bay large form factor, those were designed for more storage intent and those do not allow the larger network cards. So that is something I did wanna point out. All right, so now that we know more about the different types, the speeds, the sizes, let's go ahead and show you how to actually install the PCIe version. But before we do, I'm gonna grab my ESD gear and be right back. All right, have my ESD gear on so we're safe to work on our machine. So we're gonna go ahead and install some PCIe versions. One of the things I did wanna note is to make sure you check in advance before you order a network card if you need the low profile bracket or the high profile bracket. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, this will be a low profile bracket. So it's just gonna be a little bit shorter. And this is gonna be your high profile bracket that's gonna extend out a little bit further. And so that is important uh, because depending on uh, which card you're installing into which system, uh, it could be a different uh, profile. So just make sure you have the right profile. So that's the first trick that I always like to point out. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna remove our our riser right here to install our PCA card. It's very simple, just gonna push these two blue tabs up, the simple unscrew, just gonna pop open. And then we're just gonna lift this right up. All right, so we have this blue piece right here. So we're gonna have to push this down and this will open up like this as opposed to like this. And I do wanna note you have to push this a little harder than you'd probably like. So we're gonna push this down. And when you do, you're gonna hear it pop up. So we're gonna do this. And so these will actually just pop right out. And so you're good to just use one of these if you wanted. So one thing I wanna note, if you wanted to remove this one, it's actually a T10 bit. So I'm not gonna actually remove it because there's no need to, but I just wanted to show you how it lined up. So that's a T10 bit right there. And we're gonna go ahead and install our high profile so this is uh, pretty simple overall. What we're gonna wanna do here is line up a few points. The tip of this will go in down here. You have your two points that are gonna line up here and then your green PCIe will hit the black plastic down here. So let's go ahead and get everything lined up. So you'll see right here, the leads have gone in. Our tip down here is in and we're just gonna simply just apply a little pressure to get the leads fully in. 
And now we're going to take our empty bracket. We're going to go ahead and put this back in and close. Actually, this doesn't need to be lined up a little better. So that's lined up a little better right there. And we're just going to go ahead and close this to lock everything into place. And so now we've added in a riser card. And again, if you wanted to put another one in, you are more than welcome to put in multiple cards. And if you need another riser, you can actually even get another riser to install more cards. So let's go ahead and put this riser back in. All right, so I always line up the back to start. And then we're just gonna come straight down. Just apply a little pressure once you have everything lined up. We're gonna go ahead and screw this back in. Screw this back in. Push our blue tabs down, make sure everything is nice and flush. And we have installed our network card. And overall, this is a pretty simple install. If you have any questions or need any help, feel free to reach out to our sales team. So if you're looking for a network card upgrade or even a custom built server, we do new and we do used. If you if you need HPE, Dell, Supermicro, Cisco, IBM, Lenovo, if you're looking for a white box with an ASRock or a Gigabyte, we do all the above and we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center, or your home labs of business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. Come on.